Hello, welcome to Accounting with Arpit Girl. As you know, we were studying admission of a partner and we have already completed our first two topics. So today, let's start revaluation of assets and liabilities. Let's study general entries of revaluation, format of revaluation account, and then we will solve a question relating to all the topics we have studied till now and especially concentrating on revaluation. Let's start. What is revaluation? What is the need of revaluation? Why should a firm do revaluation? Well, the answer is suppose there is a person who is joining new firm as a partner and he see that that firm is having a building worth rupees 10 lakh but in their books of accounts in their balance sheet they have mentioned value of that building as rupees 12 lakh so as the partner will join he will have to incur a loss of rupees 2 lakh then that partner will never want this to happen so he will insist the remaining or the old partners to bring the value of the building back to its original value which is appropriate for the current scenario so for that purpose the valuation is done let's see how entries are posted and how effect to this revaluation is given so accounting entries of revaluation now suppose there is a machinery of rupees 5 lakh but at present its value is rupees 6 lakh so there is increase in the value of asset now asset has debit balance now to increase debit we debit it so we will debit asset account and we will credit revaluation account as we are preparing revaluation account then for decrease in the value of asset as in the case of our building value of building will decrease by rupees 2 lakh so 2 building 2 lakh and we will debit revaluation account then let's see for liabilities now the concept is same just debit and credits are different so for the value of liability is increasing then liability has credit balance to increase credit we credit it so credit liabilities account and debit revaluation account we can also say that when liability will increase it means our expense or our losses are increasing when expenses are increasing all expenses and losses are debited that's why revaluation account is debited then for decrease in the value of liabilities liabilities has credit balance to decrease credit we debit it so debit liabilities account and as it is gain for us because the liabilities are decreasing so devaluation account credit now one day while going through the premises i found an unrecorded asset i found a typewriter which is still working but not recorded in our books so let's record it now for recording unrecorded asset as it is asset so it will be debited and being our gain the valuation account will be credited then for recording unrecorded liabilities liabilities credit the valuation debit that's very simple and it's done just find out the balancing figure and if according to those balancing figures we got gains which means our amounts of profits are more than the amounts of losses and gains have credit balance it means our revaluation account has credit balance here so now to transfer it we will debit revaluation account and we will transfer the amounts to old partners capital account in their old profit sharing ratio and similarly for transferring losses revaluation has debit balance so we will credit revaluation account and as this will decrease partners capital account so we will debit old partners capital account that's it for the entries now let's quickly look into the format of revaluation account the very simple format of particulars amount particulars amount debit and credit now you need not go through the entries or format of revaluation from your books 
and by heart the things given there because these are very easy with the help of a simple concept just look here suppose in every question no need to suppose every time in every question we are given some adjustments okay just decode those adjustments for example our machinery its value in books were rupees 5 lakh but the present value is 6 lakh so we have a profit of 1 lakh then in case of building value was 12 lakh but the real value is 10 lakh so there is loss now if you think that adjustments result in profit transfer it to credit side if that adjustment results in loss transfer it to debit side and just find the balancing figure if you get balancing figure on debit side that is gain transfer it to old partners capital account in their old profit sharing ratio and if you get balancing figure on credit side that is loss transfer it to old partners capital account in their old profit sharing ratio that's it now let's look into a question try to solve that and understand all the concept we have studied till now with figures ready okay now let me take you to every page so that you can have a general idea of what we are going to do on first page we have our question then on our second page we have our adjustment so it is also the part of our question only then third page is a blank one so here we will prepare our working notes then on fourth and fifth page we have made format of journal entry then on next page we have format of revaluation account then on next page format of partners capital account then a format of cash account and finally the format of our balance sheet now let's begin first we will read the question and will try to solve it a and b were partners sharing profit equally okay so old profit sharing ratio please mark here given equally their balance sheet as at 31st march 2020 was as follows creditors bills payable outstanding expense capital of a and b cash debtors stock furniture machinery land and building okay so all these are general items and we are all familiar with this then what are the adjustments given on 1st april 2020 they admit c as a partner on the following terms c shall get 1/5 share in profit and he will bring 3 lakh as his capital and rupees 75000 as his share of goodwill goodwill brought by c shall be withdrawn by a and b okay so we have to do entry of drawings here then provision for doubtful debt is to be bought up to 5% on debtors for revaluation machinery be depreciated by 20% and furniture by 12000 again revaluation stock to be valued at 2,75,000 revaluation value of land and building to be increased to rupees 9 lakh revaluation investment of 35,000 were not recorded in the books are to be recorded okay then again revaluation record necessary general entries and prepare balance sheet of the new firm okay it means we are going to touch every aspect of the question or all of the topics we have studied till now So as I told you in our previous video first thing we do is calculate our new profit sharing ratio so as we know old profit sharing ratio is equal between a and b and c is admitted for 1/5 share in profit okay then let's come to our working notes and calculate new profit sharing ratio now i am going to take this very quickly and will touch only the part covered in this question If you don't know how to calculate new profit sharing ratio you can just go through our previous videos to watch that concept or to watch all the cases and all the methods of calculating new profit sharing ratio let's begin it here old profit sharing ratio of a and b is 1 is to 1 as it was given equal then let the total share be 1 now as c is coming so first we will give 
1 by 5th to C. Then calculate remaining share. That is 1 minus 1 by 5. That comes 4 by 5. Now this 4 by 5 will be divided among A and B. So A's new share is 4 by 5 into 1 by 2. That is remaining into his old share. That comes 4 by 10. And same way B's new share is remaining into his old share comes 4 by 10. So new profit sharing ratio is 4 is to 4 is to 2. Okay. Now let's come back to the adjustment. Now it is saying that he will bring capital and premium for goodwill. Okay. But before recording this, let me see here what things we can do directly. As we know that we are preparing capital account and cash account and these both have balances in balance sheet. So first let's transfer these balances. So capital of A 6,50,000, capital of B 5 lakh and cash 3 lakh. Okay. Let's go to partner's capital account. On credit side buy balance BD 6,50,000 and rupees 5 lakh. Then let's go back to our balance sheet if you don't remember the value of cash but as I remember it was 3 lakh so I am directly going to cash account and marking on debit side to balance BD rupees 3 lakh then let's come back to our balance sheet to see if there are any other point no there is no revaluation there is no opening balance of balance sheet so we will not record this then let's come to our adjustments. C will bring 3 lakh as capital and 75,000 as his share of goodwill. Okay, then let's come to our general entries and let's record as C is paying us capital or C is bringing capital. So to C's capital account 3 lakh, then C is also bringing premium for goodwill so two premium for goodwill 75,000 and in total firm is getting 3,75,000 as cash <coughs> then this entry let's post to our ledgers also so first in cash account we will write 2 is 2 C's capital account 3 lakh and 2 premium for goodwill 75,000 as cash is coming so it will be recorded on debit side then let's go to our capital account and record that C is bringing cash so by cash rupees 3 lakh then next now we know that this premium for goodwill is distributed among the partners so for that let's go to our working note and calculate the adjustment of goodwill now here also i will just touch the topic given in this question if you want to read every method and every case you can go back to the video of goodwill and learn there let's start first we are given that c is coming for one fifth share and will bring rupees seven hundred thousand as premium for goodwill so we will calculate goodwill of the form that is 75,000 into 5 by 1 that is reciprocal of C's share we get 3,75,000 now let's make our table particulars and A, B and C then we will distribute this 3,75,000 in old profit sharing ratio then we will distribute this 3,75,000 in new profit sharing ratio easy Yes, and in this method, you need not calculate sacrificing ratio. Well, let me tell you, in this question, sacrificing ratio is 1 is to 1. And that is very clear. But I am following this method because with this method, we can solve every question without calculating sacrificing ratio. Then, deduct both the amounts of OPSR and NPSR. We will get 37,500, 37,500 and minus 75,000. Now we will reverse this. 3,75,000 is positive. So we will credit. 3,75,000 is positive. We will credit. And 75,000 is negative. So we will debit. 
Now let's go back to our journal entry and record this. So A's capital account has to be credited. Okay. Then B's capital account has to be credited and debit premium for goodwill account. Now on combining first and second entry, you can see that premium for goodwill is cancelled as once we have credited and then we have debited but you will never post any 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 you will never post i am saying again you will never post any combined entry always try to make separate entries now let's record this in our partner's capital account by premium for goodwill a and b 37500 37500 then Let's come back to our entry. First entry is completed. So goodwill bought by C shall be withdrawn by A and B. Okay. So A and B are withdrawing their capital or withdrawing their amount which they got. So this will reduce their capital. So A is capital account debit. B is capital account debit. To cash as cash is going out of the business. Now let's record this both in partners capital account and cash account so first let's come to partners capital account and here we will record two cash as this will decrease capital so it is recorded on debit side then cash as this will decrease cash and cash has debit balance and to decrease debit we credit so on credit side right then this adjustment is also completed let's come to third one provision for doubtful debt is to be bought up to five percent on debtors okay so let's check how much is the debtor now and how much is the provision for doubtful debt debtors are two lakh forty thousand and provision for doubtful debt is five thousand but according to five percent provision for doubtful debt must be twelve thousand it means we have to increase provision for doubtful debt by rupees 7000. Okay, then let's increase. Let's go to journal entries. Now, provision has credit balance. To increase credit, we will credit. So, to provision for doubtful debt 7000. And this will be transferred to the valuation account. And now this will be recorded in the valuation account. So let me tell you how this will be done if we are not preparing journal. Now, as it has credit balance, let me think it as my expense or my liability. Now, as liability is increasing, it means it will incur loss. And this is to be recorded on debit side. Or you can see entry was revaluation account debit to provision for doubtful debt so same way it is recorded then let's go to our balance sheet right debtors rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand less provision for doubtful debt new one 12 thousand it gives 2 lakh 28 thousand done let's come to next adjustment machinery be depreciated by 20 percent and furniture by 12% so we will break this and solve first machinery by 20% let's check what is the value of machinery it's 2 lakh and 20% of 2 lakh is 40,000 now machinery is an asset asset has debit balance so to decrease machinery or to decrease value of machinery we have to credit it so to machinery account and as this is loss for us, it will be transferred to revaluation account. Then let's go to revaluation account. As it is loss for us because value of our asset is decreasing. So it will be recorded on debit side to machinery 40,000. Now, as I told you, we will post entry everywhere where it is needed. Otherwise, I will have to read question again to search for machinery. So now I will record it in balance sheet also so that I need not learn read this again and again. Machinery 1,60,000 that is 
टू लैख माइनस फोर्टी थाउजेंड डन नाउ अनदर पार्ट ऑफ दिस एडजस्टमेंट वॉज डेप्रिशिएट फर्नीचर बाय ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड लेट सी वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फर्नीचर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ फर्नीचर इज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके नाउ फर्नीचर इज असेट दिस पेज इज फुल लेट्स गो टू आर नेक्स्ट पेज नाउ फर्नीचर इज असेट so we will decrease asset for that we will credit furniture and again as this is loss so we will debit revaluation account all expenses and losses are debited again let's come to our revaluation account now as furniture also as given us loss so record on debit side to furniture 12000 then to balance sheet furniture 138000 then next adjustment stock be valued at 2,75,000 okay let's see what is the value of stock now it's 2,25,000 now it has to be increased by yes 2,25,000 minus 2,25,000 50,000 so now value of stock is to be increased now stock has debit balance and to increase debit we will debit so stock account debit 50000 to revaluation account 50000 then as the value of our asset is increasing it will give us gain so all incomes and gains are credited so it will be recorded on credit side by stock 50000 then let's go to balance sheet and there we will record stock not at 50000 but at 275000 because 50000 is just the change the new value is 225000 plus 50000 which gives 275000 now let's come back to the adjustments next is value of land and building be increased to 9 lakh let's see it again what is the value now it's 8 lakh 10000 so it means we have to increase it by 90000 let's come to journal entries land and building account debit 90000 to revaluation 90000 then in revaluation let's come as value of asset is increasing it will give us gain so all incomes and gains are credited so by land and building on credit side 90000 then let's come back to this and here we will record on balance sheet also that is land and building rupees 9 lakh then let's come to our next adjustment investment of 35000 were not recorded in the books are to be recorded now we have got an unrecorded asset let's see if i don't make journal how can i directly post to revaluation let's try this also because in exam if you are not required to prepare journal why will you waste time so as we have got an unrecorded asset we are getting asset it means we are earning something we are gaining something and as we are gaining so it will be recorded on credit side by investment 35000 now let's to complete this let's make journal entry also so it will be investment account debit to revaluation account as investment is asset so it will be debited now in our balance sheet also we will write investment rupees 35000 then next adjustment okay all adjustments are done let's check profit sharing ratio we calculated capital we recorded goodwill we recorded drawings we have done provision for doubtful debt done machinery done furniture done stock done land and building done and investment done it means we have nothing left on this page now let's see what we have done here now here i can see creditors which we did not record let's record now creditors rupees 5 lakh 50000 because there is no change so it will come at the same value then 
bills payable one lakh seventy thousand. This also we haven't recorded. Let's record now. Bills payable rupees one lakh seventy thousand. Then outstanding expense fifty thousand. Okay, this also will come at same value. Outstanding expense fifty thousand. Now capital. Now capital of A and B are given, but I think this will be calculated in partners capital account again, and their capital of C will also come. So let's leave this, but I don't want to forget this in exam. In hurry, so that I will record here as capital, and A B C I will write afterwards. Then let's check asset side, cash. Cash we will write while balancing cash account. Debtors we have return, provision for doubtful debt return, stock return, furniture return, machinery return, and land and building also return. It means this page is also completed. Then working notes here. Obviously we don't need any more notes. Now this page of journal was completed. Now here. As journal is completed, but we are having balance in our revaluation account. So calculate balance of revaluation account. Add all the items of debit side and all the figures of credit side. Deduct them and arrive at a balance. Here you will get revaluation account debit balance as one lakh sixteen thousand. Distribute this among old partners in their old profit sharing ratio, which was equal. Equal means half and half. So to A's capital account fifty eight thousand to B's capital account fifty eight thousand. Now let's record this or let's post this in revaluation. But in revaluation we will see if we are not preparing journal how it will come. So we will add fifty thousand plus ninety thousand plus thirty five thousand minus seven thousand minus forty thousand minus twelve thousand. It will give us rupees one lakh sixteen thousand on debit side. So on debit side we will write two gain on revaluation transferred to A's capital account fifty eight thousand and B's capital account fifty eight thousand. Now next part our capital account. First we will transfer that gain on revaluation here. So to revaluation fifty eight thousand and fifty eight thousand. Then we will balance this. So six lakh fifty thousand plus thirty seven thousand five hundred. Plus fifty-eight thousand minus thirty-seven thousand five hundred for A. Likewise, we will calculate for all, and we will get two balance CD seven lakh eight thousand five lakh fifty-eight thousand and rupees three lakh. Okay, so let me come to my balance sheet, and there I left space for A, B, and C. Let's record their capitals. We get total fifteen lakh sixty-six thousand. Then next is our cash account. So let's balance this also. We get balance as rupees six lakh. This is three lakh plus three lakh plus seventy five thousand minus thirty five thousand five hundred minus thirty five thousand five hundred. Now this six lakh we will record in our balance sheet. So cash rupees six lakh. I think all pages are done. Let's see. Yes, balance sheet is our last one. That's it. Now the only thing left is to total. So let's come to our asset side and add all the amounts, which will give us twenty three lakh thirty six thousand. And then on liability side, when we all add all the four amounts, we get twenty three lakh thirty six thousand. Now as both the sides are equal, so congratulations to all of us as our solution is absolutely correct. If you like the class, you can please like the video. and subscribe the channel hit the bell icon to receive all latest updates thank you this is accounting with arpit garg signing off bye bye take care keep learning stay safe jai hind